In a hurry to get to the deliberations. Has Saskia spoken yet? That cunt inspired dreams of freedom among the peasantry. Now all Eden stands in flames. Peasants slaughter nobles. They just wanted a free Vergen. Free Vergen? To hell with a lot of you! Freedom. A magic word. They can replace nourishment, inspire the masses to fight. Those who cry freedom can perform miracles. Stennis underestimated the meaning of freedom when he poured poison into the mouth of one who spoke that word earnestly. Edern has no king. It has no ruler. Instead, it has famine, disease, bandits, and poverty. The fight for freedom is always good, but then rulers must be chosen and it all starts again. Yet the free are joyful, even if a bit hungry. The Kingslayer! Get! <laughs> Might have tried to reason with them. Easier this way. Trust me. Path's clear. Can we go? I need to do something first. All right, but don't take too long. Witcher Geralt. We meet again. Who would have known? I thought cats always landed on four paws, but I see wolves sometimes do as well. I trust you have not come to demand my surrender again. I've come to find the Kingslayer. And once again don the robes of a hero. Enjoy the fame. I don't know about robes, Arian, but something along those lines. Well, as much as I detested Foltest, Temeria now trembles in its foundations, and I sincerely hope Natalis succeeds in salvaging it. Otherwise, the barons will tear the country into bits. The last time we saw each other, you had locked yourself in a cellar full of oil that you had set on fire. I grew up wandering the nooks and corners of that fortress, Witcher. I know passages even the mice have not heard of. For a long time, a lot of people thought you were dead. Well, that would make two of us, am I right? Shouldn't you be in Vizima? I heard things got a bit chaotic after Foltes died. It might be a good time to try your luck, especially if you've got royal blood in the family. Clearly, you do not understand what will happen here, Geralt. The re-establishing of the Council and Conclave is but a pretext. The North's most important rulers have come here not to reconstruct some assembly of mages, but to seal the balance of power and establish spheres of influence. Only fools and cowards have remained at home. Can we go now? No time to lose. Everything will be revealed at last. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Temeria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Edern. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Edern no longer controls Upper Edern. We have rejected Prince Stennis. So I heard. And handed King Henselt's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, 
We hereby speak in favour of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognise no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up to Meria? Or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognise the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Vergen as my royal advisor. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisers? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Marigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanserville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Marigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanserville will be condemned to death. Sheila de Tanserville, until Triss Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, you cannot sit on the Conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. You can, Witcher. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else.
If I have to, I will kill you. How many more can there be? How do you like my dragon? You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Sempasis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edurn would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demavend, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorveth. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Foltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, Yorveth, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know, but you made it all possible and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! Diamond. Remove the diamond. I'll give you anything you want. You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher.
Come on!
Are you alright? More or less. And the dragon? Dragoness. Saskia's alive. Wounded and weak from loss of blood, but alive. The spell is still working. Unimportant. As long as Saskia lives, there's hope that we can break it. Besides, I don't kill dragons. Philippa won't easily give up such a powerful weapon. Triss, please understand. The last thing I want to do is slaughter one of the most beautiful creatures I've ever seen. Saskia is good incarnate. She's the exact antithesis of Eilhart and your former friends. They should be punished. You're right. I just wanted... I know what you wanted, and you're probably right in some way. But this time, logic and calculation are unimportant. If we have even the slimmest chance of breaking the spell and freeing Saskia, we need to try. Let's get out of here. I guess Letho got away. He's waiting for you. Waiting? Hmm. Where the Temerians made camp. Come on. What do you mean, waiting? How do you know? Utter chaos broke out after the dragon attacked. I tried to reach Philippa's quarters. A terrified man approached me in one of the alleys, gave me a letter and begged me not to harm him. He said it was for you. The letter was short. I'm waiting in the Temerian camp. Letho. What happened here while I was gone? All the kings had many more armed men than they should have had at a peace summit. During the evacuation, several skirmishes broke out. The Kedwenis clashed with the Temerians. The Order's knights raped two sorceresses and killed those who dared try to help them. Do you think the Council and Conclave will survive? Well, they're established, and that's the only thing that prevented a wholesale massacre. Hard to say if they'll survive, but for the time being, no one's got any better ideas. Mages are part of this world, whether people like it or not. They have to have their rights, their place. Otherwise, another lodge will arise. I think he's coming too. Oh, bollocks. The whore son's in agony. Won't be long now. Look at that. The cleverest of elven bandits, beaten burnt like ordinary scum. This is the handiwork of some mage. I'd wager my wife on it. You shouldn't have taken that trinket. You know they'll ask what he had on him. And you'll not peep a word. Understand? Hey, you. Piss off, we've got a dangerous prisoner here. A prisoner? Did you capture him? None of your concern. Buzz off, freak. Any idea what happened to Roach? Yes. Radovid tried to buy him off. Piss off, I I'm said! Sure you can guess Roach turned him down. Some things will never change. Tamaria might not be on the map of the North much longer, but as long as men like Roach are around, there is hope for its rebirth. Don't pin that mess on me. I don't intend to. You asked. You asked for it! <laughs> Die now! Wanna tell me what that was about? It's Yorvith. I owed him that much. I guess I missed quite a bit. Yeah. Can you help him? Uh... I'm sorry, Geralt. This was high magic. Treating him will take time. Maybe months. I'm gonna miss the Kingslayer again. Stay with him, Triss. I'll be back for you when this is over. Geralt... This is between me and him. You don't have to. I do. He knows how I lost my memory. The magic shield came down when the deliberations ended. I'll teleport Yorveth out of here, far away to Vergen. All right. Take care of yourself.
This is no place for witches. Though I know you, and you appear wherever something important happens. True, though sometimes by accident. And this time, also a coincidence? Let's say I have something to take care of. In that case, hurry. Once we're done cleaning up this mess created by the Royal Soldiery, Loch Muin will be magically sealed. Getting out of here? Temporarily. We shall return soon enough to rebuild the city. Loch Muin will regain its former glory. Until that time, we need to keep the treasure hunters and troublemakers out. So Radovid trusts you? We shall win His Royal Majesty's trust by delivering Sheila de Tanserville and the other traitresses from the Lodge. That could take a while. Sheila's fled Loch Muin via Megascope. We have time. She cannot hide forever. Sooner or later, she will be ours. Forgive me, I must attend to some matters. And don't dawdle, the city will be sealed in one hour. I switched the diamonds. The one in the megascope has a flaw, minute, but just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. I only drink with friends. What about old acquaintances, eh? Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Remember how we first met? Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvern, the night of magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many, a stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Want to fight? Any vodka left in that bottle? A swig apiece. Here.
The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south, where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. Time to fight. Ready as I'll ever be. You fear death. What does it feel like to be almost dead? I said fight.
The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Lurido amongst the latter. Lurido sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the Four Winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragonslayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Foltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Foltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the fall of the Council and Conclave of Mages. The summit in Loch Muin re-established both bodies. Their founder sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages, but this did not sit well with all of them. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>